Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is ERD Outdoors. Hey guys, it's, it's about to rain in the next couple days. So uh, me and Jordan teamed up today and uh, we decided to come out here to my spot. Uh, I've been fishing different spots this week um, and I haven't had any luck. Guys, I've been catching like one pounders, like small baby crappie. So uh, I needed to feel the tug because <laughs> the tug is a drug most definitely. So we're out here at my favorite spot. I'm going to get y'all some content because I got to get y'all something going because in the next couple of days, maybe in the next three to four days, it's about to start raining. So I'm out here to get y'all some content to see how we do. All right, see y'all in the water. Oh, did you? Man, that grass is grown. All right, we're out, guys. First one. I almost thought that was a crappie, y'all. Uh -huh. A little male. Perfect hook set. Didn't even have to hurt the guy. All right, guys. <clears throat> Damn, I thought I got hooked up already. Man, that grass grew in like a big dog. We got here just a little bit too late. Yep. We got here just a little bit too late. We can catch some more frogfish, but we need to get the, we need to get out of this spot. Gee, oh, that grass is thick. Just barely threw it in there. I'm, I can feel all of it. That's frog heaven. All right, guys, we're gonna move on down the trail. We caught a couple of fish there. Jordan caught two. I caught one. So we're on the right track. We're just trying to locate them, guys. It's kind of windy out here today. You know what I mean? The wind's coming from the west. They say the fish bite the best. So uh, we'll see how true that is. All right, we got a little bit more room to swing over here. All right, guys. God, that grass is deep. Alright guys, Jordan's on. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Uh -huh. That's like a two and a half, almost three. Look how fat the stomach is. Grass everywhere. Yeah. Dude, they're eating up big time. Alright, good job, Jordan. That's a nice one, y'all. A little male, maybe a, maybe a close to a two pounder. Got a big old gut on him. What are you using, Jordan? If you don't mind us asking. Cover scat. Cover scat. Cover scat. All right, guys. This Very like a, unique shape. Yeah, this is like a grapefruit <laughs> doo doo. <laughs> like great grapefruit doo doo. I love these things, dude. They work. It's nuts. Guys, if y'all notice, Jordan's catching fish behind me. I always tell people that they try to fish in front of me because they want to get my spots first. But if you come here with good intentions, you're going to catch them regardless. This, this place is full of fish. Guys, I say from the other side of that bank, about 30 to 40 feet out, it's, it's nothing but maybe two feet water and full of hydrilla. And you'll, you'll... Yeah. All right, guys, me and Jordan catching them today. Uh -huh. God, I love this mega bass rod. It just yeah. feels like it's stinking sturdy. Uh -huh. I don't even feel like I'm gonna break it. Here we go, y'all. Beautiful. It's a beautiful fish. Guys, they said that these uh, that you can break their, you can hurt them by picking them up like that. But, ooh man, this fish is hot. Like literally, this fish is warm. I'm talking about warm. All right, guys, we're catching them today. Yeah, I, I knew it for a fact. It's, All 
Sorry, guys, we're on again. Uh-huh. This might be a big old crappie, y'all. Uh-huh. This might be a big old crappie. I could have sworn I seen that cotton now. He's trying to take me on the trees. All right, y'all. Swim jig's coming through. Y'all go get y'all one. Six cents swim jig. All right, guys, we kind of moved down to a little bit to the third location. It's windy as heck out here, so we got y'all a couple fish already, so I'm excited about that. We didn't get skunked. This time I can kind of throw with the wind. Hopefully it ain't too windy for you guys. Yeah. All right, y'all, we're on. Uh -huh. It's a nice one. It's like a good two pounder, maybe two and a half. Yeah. Uh-huh. We're here for the bass. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right, guys. Boom. Here you go, Jordan. They all have a good shape here, dude. They got that perfect hook set. Woo -coo. They all have that hunchback head, that big slaunchy head here. Wait till you catch a five pounder here, you'll trip out. All right, y'all. Guys, that's why I love this place. It never, it never um, disappoints me, you know what I mean? I could sit there and go fishing at a lot of different spots, which I do all the time, but uh, there's, this place got fish. I know it can get y'all some content, so let's get back out there. Right at the edge, like I got told them. Let's go see. Let's go see what. Let's go see what Jordan got, y'all. I knew right where to throw it. <laughs> no, you, you caught it right there on that dead tree right there. That tree laying in the ground. Guarantee it. I've been coming. Right over it. And I was just waiting for it. Look at that, y'all. Look at how beautiful that is. Uh -huh. Look at that. Tummy, tummy. That's a, almost a pound and three quarter, yeah. two flat. Uh -huh. Wow. Look at, the back on that. Damn, look at that swim jig he's fishing with, y'all. It's beautiful. Yeah. Battle look at base. That Battle the base. Little guys, yeah. Can we take a look at that? Wow, that's awesome. With the mega bass spark shot. Guys, look how close this is to a I six know, that's inch. so crazy. Look at this right here, guys. Look how close that is. Y'all go get y'all some swim jigs, all right? You know, they'll help y'all out, man. I'm seriously, those things look like a shad running through there or a, something. They mimic uh, their bait fish. All right, Jordan. That's a good one, brother. All right, guys, let's get back out in the water. Jordan caught him like a two pounder, maybe a. Guys, that's why I fish with a lot of braid. We ain't got no time for that thing to hesitate. When those, when those fish like that, those two pounders and three pounders latch on, I ain't got no time for that stuff to hesitate. I want that hook to set, and that's the game, it's game over for that fish. Yeah, they're, they're down there. All right, guys, Jordan got him one. Let's go take a look. All right, Jordan, it looks good. Oh man, I love those little males, man. They're beautiful. beautiful. Y'all hear that, man? Jordan's killing it today. Go far. We got some. We got some uh, swim jigs tied on, and they're eating them. Good morning. All right, guys. We moved down to the front. It's windy as heck out here. Jordan, watch out, bro. Watch out, dude. I thought you were over there throwing. All 
All right, guys, Jordan's on. All right, Jordan, nice. Let me see what you got. What do you got, like a pound, one pounder? Let's see what Jordan got. Dude, he ate that. <laughs> that's a pretty fish, pretty color. Yeah, that's what I was saying. He's kind of got that medium green, not too tan. Right. All right, guys. Yeah. So we're catching them today. Hope y'all are enjoying. Beautiful. All right, guys, we kind of moved back to the to the back. So we do a little bit of frog fishing back here. Actually, it might be just a little bit too shallow. But who knows? Dang. All right, guys, we kind of moved to the back. Try a little bit of frog fishing. It's, it's like, man, it's like about a foot deep out here. He might have been down the, I, I bet he, you're probably right. Well, I don't know, probably. Trying to get in there, Jordan. All right, guys, we got y'all some content. I think uh, Jordan ended up catching like maybe six or seven fish. I think I caught three or four. So I hope you guys enjoyed the content. Like I said, it's going to rain in the next three days, so I need to get out here and get to a location that I know that there's fish, which we came out here this morning and we had a blast. We caught a couple of top water, caught a lot of stuff off of swim jigs. Uh, we also did uh, chatterbaits. What else did we run? I think I ran like a rat, some frogs, 
we did quite a bit, guys. So uh, hope y'all enjoyed this. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Uh, y'all be patient with me. Uh, I'm about to start getting my boat out there and start getting in canals. And you're about to see a lot of early fishing and a little bit of night fishing, you guys, because pretty soon the sun's out. So, uh, you know what I mean? They're going to be hiding. It's going to be harder for us to catch fish. So uh, if I want to break down the odds or have a better odds of catching fish, I need to do it during the day, early, early in the morning or at night. So I uh, hope y'all enjoyed the content.